Hello viewers. So I have a Xiaomi IP cam at my home to keep an eye on things happening at home, especially with my son. So it has two way audio communication, but its speaker volume is not very good. So if my son is watching TV and even with low volume, he doesn't hear me over IP cam. So I was looking for a way uh, where I can get his attention and talk to him directly, preferably over a video call. So after some research, I came up with this solution, which I'm going to share with you now. For this to work, you will need a USB camera with mic if your TV doesn't have it already. An Android TV, even if it is not Android and if it supports APK file installation, that will also work. We will use apps called Join and JitSubmit with some help of an app called Super Backup. First of all, pick up your phone. Go to Play Store and search for Join. Install that and then look for Jitsi Meet and install that too. Currently, these apps are not available on Play Store for TV, so you need to sideload these apps. You can do that by uh, using install via USB option in your TV. To do that, you need to Transfer the APK files from your mobile phone to an USB drive. Let me show you how you can do that. Go to Play Store on your mobile. Look for Super Backup and Restore app and install it on your mobile phone. Once app is installed, open the app. Go to Apps section. Scroll down where you can find Join and Jitsi Meet. Check both and click on Backup. Once backup is complete, you can verify that in uh, next step called Archive. You can now copy these two APK files to your uh, USB drive. You can do it by uh, connecting mobile for your phone to your computer and uh, from computer you can copy to USB drive. Or you can connect USB directly to your phone using an OTG connector. In my MITV, I went to Device Manager. Then install via USB option. Once I see all the list of APK files which are stored in USB drive, I can then select one which I want to install. You might face problem if you have not enabled the installation from unknown sources. To enable that, go to settings and enable the application which will be installing the apps on your TV like this. In my case, Installation will be done by media player. Once you enable that, now you should be able to install both apps, Jitsi Meet and Join. Now open the Jitsi app. Here you can see a free text area where you can create rooms that can be used for your meetings. On the top right corner, there is an option to toggle between video on or off. At the bottom part of the screen, you can see all your recent meetings or calls. Now go to your phone and open Join app. You need to log in into it using your Google account. Once you're logged in, you can see all your devices listed out on your screen. Now open the Join app on your TV. The interface will look similar to this. If I go to Devices, I can see all my Join devices. You can use Join in any of these listed devices or applications, but more on that later.
For now, just go to settings. Go to pushes. And enable the first option. It will enable the app join app to open the Jitsi app with your meeting details. Now you are ready to use it. Let's have our first meeting. Enter a unique room name in the free text area. It can be anything. Just be sure that it's not very easy to guess. I am using calling home TV for now. Once I start the meeting, now I can invite others to this. Click on invite button. Now you will get options to send your invite via various channels. Select the join. Select your TV name. This invite link will be pushed to your TV's join app and the join app will try to open it directly. Now if you have any other browsers, you might have to select the Jitsi Meet app for the first time. When TV asks you to open the Jitsi Meet, make sure you select always. This way from the next time onward you don't have to give any input on TV. Now the meeting is connecting. It might take uh, it might take some time depending on your internet speed. Now we are connecting to the meeting. Here I can see my home on my phone. As I have not enabled camera option on my phone, it's not visible on the TV yet. Let me just go out. Now I will enable camera. Now my video will also be visible on TV. I can have a two-way audio and video communication from my phone on my TV. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, just put it in comment section. I will try my best to answer those.